Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of products review, specifically footwear design. And sometimes I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think they are interesting to share with you guys. And I always include three different looks to give you guys ideas how to style them. Back then when I doing the review on the Dr. Martin's agents, I think that she's just so ugly. You know, there's no way in a million years I would wear them. But now my mind changed because I think my lifestyle changed. And when you get older, the way how you dress is just slowly changing as well, you know. And when I go to drmartins.com to look up the agents show, I realized they have a lot of different model. The one agent that really stand out to me is this agent made in England. Um, I love the quality material that they use on this agent. Another one is made in Laos. The one that make in England, the price tag is $240. Often when you see products that make in England, it's always expensive. The price tag on the Adrian's make in Lao is $150. So the price is almost $100 differences because the price tag is different. So that's why the packaging also different, right? Uh, the packaging on the Adrian make in Lao, they more like for the regular products line from Dr. Martens that you often see when you get a new pair of Dr. Martens products compared to the packaging on the Made in England show um, they look more like a premium products the box is the burgundy color box with the screen print in gold Dr. Martin branding logo and also they include the duffel bag for your shoes as well let's go to the Dr. Martin Adrian Made in Lao the material that they use on the upper is polished leather they look very smooth and very nice so that's why a lot of people draw into this type of leather personally when I buy stuff especially footwear I always focus on the leather material of the shoe you know I don't care about the brand I don't care about the trend the quality leather of the shoe that is determined me to buy the shoe you know and obviously some other details too but what I'm focused at first is the quality leather of the shoe. I never really a big fan of polished leather, but the polished leather material that they use on Dr. Martin's product, they are pretty tough, you know, very durable because they are very thick. You know, I think it's around like two millimeter thickness. Uh, compared to the leather material that they use on the Make in England, they call it at Quilland leather this leather is the signature from dr martin since i think 70. the first sight you already know is the good quality leather they have two-tone finish the top coat is black color with a little bit of the leather grain the second tone is more like a tanned original color of this leather upper and the patterns on these two shoes right they are pretty much the same I would say. However, if you look on the top-down view comparisons on the shoe shape, they are different. You know, um, if you look on the toe area on the Adrian Make in Lao, a little bit pointy. You know, is more narrower compared to the Adrian Make in England. They more like a little bit square toe, and the detail on the tassel of the Adrian Make in Lao. It's just so bad. It just stand up, it looks so weird because the stiffness of this polished leather creates kind of tension to make this tassel stand up like this. This tassel is getting hard. That's why it stand up like this. Compared to this tassel on the Make in England agent, they are, you see, they're not stand up. You know, it's a little bit more like less tension there. It sit down nicely. 
this entrance make in Lao, it's gonna take you a couple of days to break it in. The leather is not that bad when you just wear them fresh off the box. Compared to the leather on the make in England though, it takes you a couple of weeks to break it in because this leather is very rough, you know. I think it's tougher than this polished leather on the Adrian make in Laos. When I put on the Adrian make in England, I feel roughness around my forefoot to the heel counter. I'm afraid if I wear these shoes like fresh off the box, I'm gonna get blister for sure. And next, let's go to the outsole toolings on these two shoes, right? The Adrian make in England, they have the yellow reinforcements well stitched and you see between these stitches and they have that sewing machine mark uh, compared to the Adrian made in Lao they just basically have that rubberized welt without the stitching detail um, they only have the markings T around this rubberized welt um, I think the construction wise for longevity I would pick the Make in England because of this uh, stitching, they're gonna give your shoes durability and it's gonna last longer than just cement rubberized welt on this Make in Lao agent. This also toolings on the agent Make in England. They are tense colors. They closer to the second tone color of the leather upper of the shoe and they also less transparent. Compared to the Make in Lao Adrian, they more transparent. And the colors of this also toiling, they closer to yellow colors compared to the Make in England one. The also tooling pattern though, they both are pretty rugged. And that is typical Dr. Martin's also pattern. Um, they just have a little bit differences on this pattern, which is the scale on this outsole pattern and in the middle of this outsole pattern on the Adrian make in England they have the text make in England uh, compared to the make in Lao they have the text the original so these two Adrian from Dr. Martin they give you three centimeter in height and go to the insole footbed on the Make in England, they don't really have insole at all. Even though the shoe doesn't have footbed on the Adrian Make in England, the comfort on these shoes is still really provide me a good job. I think because of the stuff that they put inside of this outsole. So that's why I still feel that cushionings when I wear the shoe. And this footbed on the Adrian Make in Lao, they used the foam footbed have the perforated detail around the forefoot and in the arch area. In the heel area, they have that emboss of the Dr. Martin branding logo. My personal text on these two Adrian, um, I would say though, the quality leather material that they use on the Make in England agent, yes, they look very nice. I really love the quality leather that they use on the upper of the Make in England agent. However, the detailed yellow stitches on the welt, I don't like it. You know, it's just too bright. I wish this yellow stitches in black that would look so much nicer. That is just my uh, picky detail that I don't like about the Make in England agent. It would look nicer if the yellow stitch is in black. And on the Adrian Make in Lao though, I think you guys already heard what I was mentioned. You know, it's the polished leather that I don't like on this Adrian Make in Lao. Um, I never really a fan of polished leather. Yes, it look good when it's just brand new, but when you wear them for a couple months, I don't think it look that nice compared to this Kirkland leather. And go to the sizing on these two shoes though, they both run large. Um, I would recommend you to go a size down. Uh, styling with these two shoes though, I don't really have a lot of experience styling with the loafer and um, the Adrian. But I will try my best to um, styling with this uh, type of footwear. I never really have experience. The only time that I have experience styling with this 
Dr. Martin Agent is uh, my last review when I reviewed the Dr. Martin Agent. I think I've done a pretty good job on styling that shoes, but in this video, I want to change a little bit, you know, but this time I do four different looks just for experiment for this type of style that I'm step into. And up next, I'm going to share with you guys how I would like to style them. So there you go, what you think about the way how I styling this agent. I think I done pretty good job, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of proud of myself, even though I don't have the experience, but I always believe that I can rock anything. You know, when you in shape, you make everything look good. That is the facts. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up. And subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week. And I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.